Good morning, everybody. It is 8.40. Um, the reason my energy is high and I'm trying to talk is because I'm a little bit tired. Um, I did get good sleep, but I woke up really early. Um, I've been really anxious this morning. I'm going right now to go pitch a commercial idea to a client that I've worked with before. Um, and I am going right now to pitch that. Um, it's about a 10 minute drive down to the coffee shop where we're meeting. Um, it's actually owned by the client. Um, so that's cool, we're meeting in his business. Oh, that's my bag. Um, but I am really nervous. If you, like I, there's just something about today that feels like if I don't get this, I'm a failure. Or if I don't get this, that um, everything is going to be wrong. Or just, it's kind of like a get it. It's like an excitement. And I, I'd say I'm a somewhat anxious person of not really, like before I do something, I do get anxious. Like before I play basketball, before I go film something. But then as soon as I start, it's good. And then after I feel great. So I'm just trying to remind myself of that, that get, getting there is the biggest step. Just get your feet through the door and everything else will figure itself out. Um, if you've ever pitched something before, or if you haven't, again, the biggest thing is just getting yourself through the door. Getting yourself through that door um, is a huge step and an accomplishment on its own, so you don't need to compare super hard that, okay, if I don't get this sale, everything's over, because everything works out, everything happens for a reason. Um, just keep pushing on, just keep believing that you, just keep trusting what you've done um, and everything else will figure itself out. So I'm gonna go meet. Um, I'm gonna probably record um, a little bit just, and you'll probably get a little voiceover. Like I predicted, I'm doing a voiceover. So walking in right now, the nerves are there. This is someone I know um, and I'm friends with, our families, our friends, um, and get along really well. So this is someone I'm really comfortable around. And the pitch, though, is still nerve-wracking. It's almost a little bit more because you don't want to let down. Um, it feels like there's a little bit more weight because you know you're going to see this person again. Um, but going in, the nerves were there. Um, and I knew, just like I was saying, just getting it done is big. Now, I kind of in, am in a middle ground. And this is the problem for today was sometimes I'm fighting my internal filmmaker, like narrative films about writing stories to be in doing commercial jobs is like not doing film. So like this is me not doing something that's not for my own brand. So um, but it's a little bit more than just doing video work because it's a story. I'm pitching a story and I'm trying to pitch that, hey, I have studied filmmaking. Um, I am getting better at filmmaking. I am actually a director. Here are the films I have made. Uh, let me tell a story for your company. I can tell a story and how much more important a story could be than what I was doing, which is just doing some reels content and short form content and basically saying, I can make your company um, elevated through storytelling. And that is something that I really think I can offer to you and really just hammering that down that I'm offering something to them. And that's always something good to do. Meeting is done. Um, it went really well. I don't drink coffee a ton. So when I do the absolute caffeine boost that I get is pretty lethal to my body um he's gonna work he's working with the marketing uh, manager as well um to see how it develops um he th said he wants to, he thinks he wants to make this happen so now it's in the hands of the client as we say uh going back to my car um but the biggest thing is staying positive and saying you know what i did that pitch i felt nervous earlier but now it's done <laughs> now it's done chugged a vanilla latte brain is firing very fast when i get caffeine in my body i uh everything becomes very vibrant it's like whoa i'm so focused <laughs> i feel like i'm already a focused person but like when i get caffeine in my body this is just absolutely brain dead comments by me right now because i'm just explaining how caffeine works but that's fine that's what you're getting with luke the lr vlog talking about myself in the third person um, it was cool. My pitch went well. I impressed him with the colors. I think I impressed him with my pitch. Overall, overall, I feel like I did a great job of saying who I am, 
what I can offer, um, things I need to remember. I need to send him an email um, with my past work and I need to email him on um, the presentation so we can show his marketing manager. So I need to clean up my reel, add in a couple more shots um, from the movie that I just filmed, the new short film, the vlog that came before this was about the short film. So I'm gonna show him some of those final frames um, as well in my new uh, DP, uh, Director of Photography Reel. Um, again, the pitch went well. Once I get that caffeine flowing, the idea is just, everything starts being becoming very clear. Um, I feel good, I was really nervous to do this. Um, this Friday, I have a call with another client about another commercial project. So stuff is starting to move. I feel good. Um, action creates action. David Moorfield, um, one of my favorite YouTubers, he's a DP in Florida, uh, awesome. Provides so much great insight. He always talks about action brings action. So going out and doing this is just getting things moving. Even if this doesn't work out, I did one pitch and now I'm gonna be ready for the next. I know what to do. I know what I would wanna do a little bit better next time. Um, but yeah. Everything feels good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a little bit shorter, um, but uh, this is a fun little little vlog, little pitch, talking. Um, now the rest of my Wednesday is gonna be editing, um, editing the short film, Little Library. Um, that is, I don't know when that's gonna come out. I'm right now in the process of learning, should I do the festival circuit first? Should I release it online? I don't know. If you uh, have released a short film, do you know, do you, I've done research. Do you think it's fine to release the short film online while simultaneously submitting to festivals? Does that hurt? Does that help? Um, just a lot being thrown at you guys right now. But, and the biggest thing is, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have a pitch coming up, um, and if there's ways that you like to go about a pitch um, that are different than I do, let me know. I'd love to uh, hear your thoughts. Um, and make sure to subscribe for more uh, filmmaking vlogs. Have a great day.